Since landing on English soil four years ago at the tender age of 16, Hannibal has had a hell of a journey. It's been a roller coaster so far. He's seen faces in the dressing room change. He's seen the managers switched out on him. But the lad's got a passion for making it at United. And I think that has been unshakable. There's been no shortage of folks that are having a pop about his attitude, whether he's got the chops. But time and time again, he seems to have shown them that he has. Now, I think it's plain to see that Hannibal has got the metal. He's got the minerals. He's got the raw talent. He's got a fire in his belly. He can definitely stand tall on the, the grandest stages. I think there's no two ways around that. Hannibal Mabry is a top draw player. I mean, would United have splashed out you know, an eye-watering 10 million for a 16-year-old from Monaco uh, if he wasn't looking like he was going to be the real deal. Now, United does have that rich history of bringing through gems from the academy. Some get a chance in the limelight. Others, well, they get a stint elsewhere and, and they, they push on with their careers in, in you know, the lower reaches of the Premier League, Championship, League One, etc. But with all the chopping and changing that's gone in the managerial department, some of our young uns have, have really struggled and suffered when it comes to getting action. And some, like Hannibal, have got that little bit extra that might be able to give them the step up. Now, he's already clocked uh, about 26 caps for his country, and last year he had a really decent run out with Birmingham City in the Championship. Now, the shake-up that's undergoing uh, Manchester United's midfield at the moment could really be his moment. When you watch Hannibal play, you will see a lad that has actually got his head screwed on. There's, there is noise about him around the pitch. And there's some question marks about maybe how cocky or arrogant he is. But sometimes that comes with ability. And his game is sharp. He's always looking to get forward. He isn't one to shy away from a gamble. And he's got a hustle about him. Something that we've been crying out for in the middle of the park. And speaking of the midfield, having him around might just take a little bit of the weight off the likes of Casemiro's shoulders. And when it comes to what he's doing on the pitch, he plays sharp. He's always scanning. He's always reading the game. He's always moving the ball with a purpose. He passes um, the ball with with purpose. He, he threads it through the lines. And it's class what he can do, actually, with the ball. But don't let that graceful footwork fool you. There's grit about him. And he's a hard, maybe over-the-top edge at times with him. So whether he's putting in a tackle, whether he's getting in the mix and pressing, he has got that little bit of devil about him. And sometimes you need that. You know, there's uh, there's maybe a bit more creativity to him, but could he be moulded into like an Ander Herrera kind of character? Because that's the sort of temperament I see with him he's not going to suffer fools and he's going to put his foot in when he's needed and maybe he can be a bit of a shit house at times as well but breaking him down right now he's, he's a little bit more of a roaming playmaker as Ander was prior to him coming to Manchester United he's quick off the mark he does have a pretty good acceleration on him um, there's obviously flair and a bit of nifty footwork He's very handy with a ball, crafty, can definitely handle a press. He puts a shift in, he covers every single blade of the grass and he aces it uh, whether we're knocking it about or if we're looking to uh, hit on the break. He can play with both. Now, the gaffer in Ten Hag, he was all praises post-match the other day and he reckons Hannibal's um, brought a bit of spark to that midfield and I don't disagree with that. I think he has brought a bit of spark and he's probably put himself right in the line to be getting selected. Today I've got some news from our sponsor Timu. It's an online marketplace that offers a wide range of products at a budget friendly price. Timu offers mind-blowing deals on all their products with prices that won't break the bank. You can shop until you drop without worrying about your budget. Timu's committed to providing products that meet your needs. From sports merchandise to tech gadgets, Timu's got a balance between quality and affordability, ensuring that you receive your products that align with your preferences and your budget. Timu's got it all with multiple categories to choose from. You can find everything that you need in one place. There is sports gear, there's entertainment goodies. They've literally got you covered. And here's the other interesting part, the availability of valuable coupons. You'll be pleasantly surprised by the significant discounts that are available with Timu coupon offers. Some of them are 90 90% off and that's not all you get free shipping and free returns for up to 90 days so you can shop with confidence no worries no hassle just pure shopping bliss 
When you download the Timu app using the link or code in the description, you're going to get £100 of coupons for free. You heard me right, like literally £100 of coupons for free just for being part of the Timu family. So what are you waiting for? Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to save big on some quality products from a dozen different categories. Check the link in the description, download the Timu app, get your £100 coupons for free. Happy shopping, everyone. Thanks to Timu for bringing us these amazing deals. Now, there is a lot to like about Hannibal, and he isn't a one-trip pony. He does have the tools to make it as a 10 for sure, but also as an 8, and maybe even as a cheeky false 9 as we've seen. And that's gold for Ten Hag, who likes his lads to have a little bit about them positionally, be able to take up roles in different bits. But breaking into this United team with the likes of Bruno, Mason Mount, Christian Eriksen in the mix, that's not going to be easy for him. Eriksen might be the one that has to watch his back because of his age, but Mount and Bruno, what they've cost, their age profiles, their status within the team, they're probably going to be mainstays. So the midfield, despite being a little bit of a headache for a while now, has got young lads like Hannibal and Mainu really sort of putting a bit of pressure on those that are starting. And that's a good thing because when people are comfortable, when the manager has no options, people can switch off and, and sometimes players can get run into the ground. Having the likes of uh, Menu and Hannibal come in and be able to come in and the manager's blessing to come in is a massive positive when it comes to keeping this team fresh and potentially going the distance in com some competitions. Now, we saw some flashes in pre-season. We've seen some flashes in season. Whether or not he truly kicks on is anybody's guess. Um, and has he got what it takes? From where I'm standing, the ladder's got potential in spades. It's up to him and the manager whether he gets the opportunity to show that and if he continues to get the opportunities, can he grab them with both hands? Because if he can, there is certainly a player there and it might be about time for him to come to maturity. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news, as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.